Hello, this is Crafty Andy. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to do a little bit of yarn dyeing and it may be two or three videos, but in the first video I want to show you uh, what components I have. I have a crock pot that comes apart. This is where I'm going to put the yarn with some water and vinegar. And I'm going to put it in here so that it can soak for like 30 minutes. And I'm going to put it on high. And that will help the fibers open up. This is wool and the acid makes it open up and the heat. Then once it's out of there, once it's done, that I think it's been there for half an hour, you get out the excess water. And that may be the end of the crock pot for today. Some other times you can uh, keep the crock pot and do direct dyeing in there and let it slow cook for like an hour or two and you get very interesting marbling uh, effects. But these are some of the dyes that you have. You have jacquard acid dyes. Most of them are non-toxic. You have the eye dye, which is a little envelope. You have your Kool-Aid, right? Um, even though some of these are non-toxic, or they say they're non-toxic, we're going to use a mask, which I got, because we don't want to inhale Kool-Aid in our lungs. We also have gloves. I prefer rubber latex gloves, because I can feel. But, I may use these ones today. Aren't these funky? So we have crock pot dyes, water, white vinegar. I'm always curious to see, I, I probably have to keep on reading if you use color vinegar, if that will affect, uh, I'm pretty sure it will affect the color of your, uh, the hue of your color in your uh, yarn. This Pyrex clear cup is only for uh, clear water and or vinegar. These are the square bottles that I found very useful. They're not expensive. You can mix your yarn. They come with a cap. It's almost like the ones for her dyeing. Miscellaneous bowls that are all dedicated for yarn dyeing. I got these at the yarn store, at the thrift store today. It's like cups. Measuring cups, measuring tablespoons, half quarter, and then we have this that is to put the yarn in to microwave it because we're going to microwave the yarn. You should also protect your eyes. I have glasses, so that helps me protect the eyes. And this is what we're going to put on the kitchen floor, and under these there will be newspapers and a towel. That's just in case we get a little messy but my kitchen floor is black and you can always clean up with bleach but we don't want to do that anyway oh and one of the most important parts is how you're gonna paint by hand your yarn I got this nifty set of brushes there's some foam uh, rubber brushes some regular nylon brushes and you can use even some uh, sponges to just sponge the color in. Practice is what will make you see what you really want to do. So this is section one of uh, dyeing your own yarn and you have your materials. I hope that this helps you out and thank you for allowing me in your home.